Welcome to Laminus.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to deploy user and computer certificate with Windows 2008 Certificate Authority Server through Group Policy. This method is very useful when you need to deploy either type of certificate or even both to hundreds of thousands of users or computers when your network authentication requires client certificate such as TLS using wireless LAN. So instead of manually enrolling user individually, you can push out certificates in a large scale with a very minimal effort. So now that you understand the benefit, let's take a look at our lab setup. So here we have a Windows 2008 machine that's running a domain control as well as a certificate authority uh, service. And we're going to have the certificate pushed out both users and computer certificates to a comp uh, user's employee one when the laptop or the PC is trying to join the domain and the user is trying to lock in. Okay, so to start off our configuration, let me show you first that currently we do not have any certificate install. So we go to MMC, add remove uh, snap in, and here we select certificate. First we do the user account, and we also need to add computer account. They want local computer. So okay. You can expand that and under personal folder for the current users, it's empty, as well as the trusted root certificate. There's currently no trusted root that belongs to our labmins.com domain. Uh, as well as the local computer, we currently do not have any certificate install. Okay, so to start off our config, we're going to switch to our Windows 2008 server, and we're going to open Certificate Authority Management. And here, we're going to go ahead and create a new template for users. So you go Certificate Template, click Manage, and we're going to duplicate a template from a uh, user template, existing user template. So here we give it a name, LM user. Okay, so for request handling, let's disable private key export. That will leave at default. Here we go to extension, application policy, let's add a server authentication. Now for security, you want all, your, all of your domain users to be able to auto-enroll. So let's have that check as well as uh, read privilege. Okay, so we click apply. Next, we're gonna create a certificate template for a computer. So we're gonna duplicate workstation authentication template. Choose 2003 Enterprise. And here we'll call it LM Workstation Authentication. Okay, request handling, we leave a default subject name. They want to include the user principal name. And again, on the security, we want all the domain computers or any devices that a member of domain computer groups to be able to auto uh, enroll and read. Click OK. So now the template is cre created. The next thing we need to do is to publish or issue the template. So we're back on our certificate authority, certificate template, right click and go new, and certificate template to issue. And here on the list, we see the two certificate we just, uh, template we just created. We we'll select both and issue both so they are available for for use. Okay. Now we need to configure our group policy so that it knows it needs to push out the certificates to the user and the computer. So here we go to the group policy management. Under our domain There is a default domain 
policy. So you can right click and edit. So here we have policies for a computer and user. So we start off with the computer. Go to policies, window setting, security settings. And right here, public key policies. And we can see an option for auto enrollment. Double click on that. By default, it's not configured, so we want to enable that. And we're going to check renewal expire certificate as well as update certificates that use certificate templates. Okay, and we're going to repeat the same process to the user configuration. Locate your public key policies for user, enable, and then we'll have those checks. Okay. Right now that we have configured the group policies, we're going to need to run a quick update. So you do GP update force. All right. So now that has successfully uh, run. We're going to go ahead and join our test PC here to the domain. So computer properties, change settings. Okay, change. And we want it to be a member of labminutes.com. Here we type in our admin account credential. Get it a second. Oop, looks like a bad password. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so now we have joined the computer to the domain. It's asking for a reboot, so we're going to go ahead and reboot the machine. So we start now. So while that is rebooting, let's go and take a look at the certificate server again. And here is our list of certificate that's been issued. So we're just going to monitor that as the computer comes up and uh, locks into the domain. Okay, so I just have to wait for the the PC to boot up. Okay, let's go ahead and lock in. And now the user is going to be employee one and the password. Okay. And you can see right here, during the lock-in, we have a certificate created for LM Win 7 Test 1, which is our machine, our PC machine. So that's basically the, the machine certificate. All right here, here's the name that's been issued to. And you can see it was created based on a certificate template called LM Workstation. Uh, authentication. Okay. So it looks like the computer is still trying to lock in. And also, now we have the certificate number 37 that has been issued to employee one. So that is the user certificate. Okay, and that's based on a certificate template Alim user. All right, so now that we have locked in, before we take a look at the certificate that's been installed on the both user and computer, we need to add the employee one to a local admin. So it has privilege to look into the computer certificate.
All right, so I'm going to go add username will be employee1 domain slapbits.com. Okay, now so browse. Uh, okay, next we want to add employee1 to uh, under administrator group. Now this in there, we need to do a lock off. And lock back in. Okay, now that employee one has the local administrator privilege. I'm going to go to MMC. Add remove snap in. Certificate user and also computer that we want to look at. Okay, now for the current user, under personal, before it was empty, now we have a certificate that's been issued to employee one, which is the exact same certificate we see on the server. Okay, now let's take a look at the trusted root certificate, and now we have LM root CA self-signed certificate that's been pushed to the user as well. Okay, now for the computer under personal certificate, we also do have the computer certificate issued. Okay, so you can see the process is pretty straightforward once you have created the uh, certificate template. Now if you have where there's hundreds of thousands users or computers, they will be having the certificate installed automatically when they log into the domain, just like this one. So now you have both user and machine certificate that you can use for whatever type of authentications that you need on your network on your network. Okay, so that wraps up our video on user and computer certificate auto enrollment with Windows 2008 Certificate Authority Server. Thank you for watching LabMinutes.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.